First question, do you have any hidden talents? I don't know about hidden, but for talents, I can actually play the piano, the cello, the recorder, hot press buns, um, and I play tennis, if some people didn't know. That. If you could find out one thing about your future, what would it be? Honestly, I've, I've had this talk with like <laughs> my friends as well. I'd want to just where I would be in the future. Because I feel like that's one thing people always want to know. It's like, what will happen in the future? Like, where will I be um, 10 years from now? And that's something I want to know what will happen in the future. Where will I stand? If you could have your dream vacation, where would you go and what would you do? You know, if I had a dream vacation, I could go anywhere. I would go to the Maldives or the Bahamas and I would just jump in the water and swim with the fishes. Because I love water creatures. I've always been into like Discovery Channel for sharks or fish or sea animals basically. So basically swim with the fishes in the Bahamas or Maldives. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Oh, that's tough, because I love food. Um, if I had one meal, it would be a Polish dish called pierogies. Um, and it's, there's multiple kinds, but the ones I like is the mashed potato filled dumplings. Those ones are really good, and I will like drop anything to eat those. What advice would you give to your past self? <sighs> Honestly, I would, tell my younger self to put more effort because as a kid, I still am, but as a kid, I would kind of like drop things early on and I didn't really pursue with many things because I got lazy at times. So I tell my younger self to like hold on to the things you're doing because it could come useful in the future. What advice would you have for someone who wants to be a social media creator? Biggest thing is you all, You'll have to learn how to have more confidence in yourself. There are a ton of creators out there and it's good to judge yourself among them. That's how you get better. You look at who's better than you, who's your role model and you follow them in a way, but you shouldn't only judge yourself to them because then it could kind of put you in a negative space. Um, you can actually end up saying oh i'm not good enough i don't i'm not uh i i'm not doing as well as them something like that so if you actually think a little bit more positive and compare yourself in a good way then that is great that is something i would say to anyone who wants to start being a social media creator what are your favorite movies of all time oh this was hard okay uh, recently I was watching How to Train Your Dragons, so How to Train Your Dragons, Avatar, Avatar 2, Avatar Last Airbender, um, Crazy Rich Asians, uh, I have so many, Incredibles, Cars, Cars 2, Cars 3, Ratatouille, um, I could go on and on honestly. I love movies, so you'll probably catch me at the cinema like three times a week. What is something most people who follow you don't know about? I don't know if everyone knows this about us, or I don't know if anyone knows this about me, but I actually have a twin and a sister. And if you've been following me or our twin account, we post a lot together. I post with my brother, Matthew. And some people still think I'm like an AI robot that's video shopped into our videos, so. If you think that, I'm, I'm actually real if you didn't know that. What is your biggest pet peeve? Uh, okay, okay, ready? I'm gonna show you right here. When the room is dead silent and someone just starts smacking their food or smacking their lips, uh, that, is my, that is probably one of my biggest pet peeves. What is your favorite birthday memory? Um, I don't know. Let's see. I, I have a lot of favorite birthday memories because usually our birthdays are celebrated at home. We don't have like big friend gatherings. It's just among our family. So my, I guess my favorite birthday memory would just be like the last time my sister was with us. Cause right now she's in college. 
but last time my sister was with us and we all had a big birthday dinner. That was probably my favorite memory. When did you first go viral? So <laughs> this was during the new New Year's Eve. Yeah, it was New Year's Eve. I forgot which year. Is it 2020 or 2021? And for fun, my brother and I, we decided to like make a TikTok for fun, just like um, around our lights, around our uh, you know, like yard, and we did it for like complete joke. It was just for fun. And the funny thing is, is it blew up in a way. So we were like, oh, like we we didn't expect this. It was funny because we were making our a video with our sister, and we thought that video would blow up, but the video we just had fun doing actually blew up so I was like wow that's crazy so we did another video similar to that and it just kept growing and growing and growing and now we're here who were the first creators you followed on social media hmm first creators I followed on social media um I followed quite a bit of people because I look up to a lot of people but um I followed the Moy brothers Oliver Moy, Sebastian Moy, I followed um, like a lot of people from the Hype House, uh, Thomas, Vinny, Brooke, so yeah, all, honestly I was trying to get a sense of, uh, since I was new to this, I was getting a sense of how like content works, how do you create content, what goes viral, what doesn't. How do you survive in this field basically so i followed a bunch of creators that i believe had good content and i kind of saw what was the overall um idea they came up blah, blah, blah. what was the overall idea they came up what is your favorite holiday my favorite holiday um i don't know i oh i know okay what is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas because honestly, oh, it's just the best. Family time, present time, oh, like honestly, just spending time together, the food, the uh, the bed, the snow, the lights, the oh, music, the movies, it's all amazing. So that's something like, if you tell me, like, like we're throwing a Christmas party or like, we're gonna do something Christmas themed. Oh, I'm all for it because I love it so much. Which one of your accomplishments? <laughs> Which one of your accomplishments are you proudest of? Hmm. I'm very proud of where we are right now because in 2020 we were on a different path. Me and my brother. I was going this way, saying, "Oh, I'm gonna go." Here, this is like the plan, I'm gonna do it. And then it kind of split off and we got a new opportunity with creating media. And honestly, that has been so much fun for me. I've enjoyed it so much. Um, and I really hope to continue in the future. So I'm definitely proud of where we are right now and all the support we've um, grown. And I'm also proud about little things like me doing good in school, um, us going to state for tennis, like there are little bits and pieces that I'm proud we accomplished and I think overall all that build up has made me feel happier so I'm proud of a lot of things. That is all the questions I have for today. Thank you for tuning in and listening to me and I'll see you later.